Many women complain that guys don't appreciate them enough. How do you know whether to blame men for not making enough effort or women for not showing enough gratitude? Mm. Mm. Would you like to answer that one? That's a good one! <laughs> <laughs> um, well, okay, sorry. So say it one more time before well, I basi yeah, Basically, it. women think men need to do more. Men often think women expect too much. Which is it? Some women don't show enough gratitude because they expect too much from a man. You know what I'm saying? They want you to give them the world, but they won't give you that in return. So, that's that. Is it harder to satisfy men or women? Women. Women, yeah. By oh, yeah. far. Okay, so why should men even bother trying to please women if they they're shouldn't. never satisfied? They shouldn't. they shouldn't. Listen, you treat them all like dogs, alright? I'm a dog, I'm gonna treat you like a dog because they gonna fuck around and cheat on you anyways. None of them hoes yeah. loyal. Oh, yeah. I blame men. Why? Because men just, I don't know, like men just feel so entitled always in relationships like her. Like, they just feel so entitled all the time and they need to treat us like queens. But the women need to show respect back. It's honestly kind of both sides. Like, it depends on the person. Of course, the men could, some men could do better and some women could be more appreciative, you know? So I, I think it's like, it just depends on the person. We can't really tell who's who does what more. How would you define the term romantic relationship? There's no such thing. No such thing. It's always another dude in the picture. She always got somebody waiting as soon as you fuck up, buddy on the sideline. Women expect too much, but men do too little. Or they think that what they do is enough, and it never is. Well, is it harder to satisfy men or women? I feel like it's harder to satisfy women because we have higher expectations. So why should men even bother trying to please women if they're never satisfied? Isn't that the whole point? Should a relationship be an equal partnership? Yeah, but it can't. Yeah, 100% it should be. 50-50, I think. Okay. You give me your love, I'll give you mine. If it's an equal partnership, how many women equally contribute to building a relationship as a man is expected to? None. 35%. None. Okay. Could that possibly be a reason why so many men want sex without relationships? you damn right. The women want sex with our relationships too, though. Like. Yeah. Men are typically expected to court women, you know, approach women, ask them out on dates, pick them up, pay for dates, make the first move. What are women expected to do to build a relationship? You know, you're right. If you really think about it, I feel like it should go both ways. Like, I feel like someone needs to just, like, boss up and just, like, you know, put their pride aside. I feel like a lot of people just have too much pride and just think that everything needs to come to them. But honestly, in life, if you want something, you have to go get it. So, you know? Well, it should go that way. Yeah. But does it? No, no. It's really like men are expected to come to us. Okay. Could that possibly be a reason why so many men want sex without relationships? It could be. Honestly, that might be a good explanation for that. Is it fair to assume that the women who complain men only want sex is because sex is all those women are bringing to the table? Mm, see... Uh, what is the definition of transactional? Mm, definition of transactional? Mm, a trade for a trade. Would you agree that it's the exchange of goods or services related to business? If we're in a retail setting. Okay, is sex more likely to be transactional between two lesbian women or between men and women? Men and women. Why? We expect things. We're women. We expect things. You can't just get it. We need food. We need other things. We need gifts. We need, you gotta take us out. You gotta use your car. Spend your gas money. I need to eat. I wanna buy stuff. Okay, are women doing men a favor by giving them sex? No. But if a man has to do all these things in order to get sex from a woman, he doesn't have to do those things. If he he's smart, he wouldn't. If women enjoy sex as much as men, why do they typically make a man work for it? Why does he have to earn it? Because we get called hoes. I don't know. Men probably feel like they need to do all this extravagant, like, events with us just to make us feel some type of positive way. And it's really just, it's the simple things that they miss doing. Like, if you just take the time to ask us how our day is doing, like, that's literally all it takes. So bring us out to a simple date. You don't need to do all this crazy stuff to make us feel like we're special. Okay, well, I mean, typically, the man is expected to approach the woman, ask her out, pick her up, pay for the date, make the first move and stuff, right? What are women expected to do to build that relationship? Um, I feel like women are more expected to be there emotionally. Like, men are supposed to be there in a physical way, and women are supposed to be there in, like, in today's society, I feel like to support the man, to be trusting, I think that girls should absolutely be the ones to pay for dates. I think that they should take turns. 
and I think that women should go in the DMs. I go in the DMs, but not every girl has the balls to do that. They're self-conscious, and that's why. Okay, um, if a woman chooses to approach a man and shoot her shot, is she more or less likely to be rejected than if a man approaches a woman? She is way less likely to get rejected. Men love attention, and they don't get that very often. So, like, if you, like, as a girl, have the balls to go up to a guy and be like, hey, like, what's your number? There's no way that man is going to turn you down. But men don't typically like women that have balls. They want a girl have, to have guts, have guts, right? <laughs> they like confidence, though. Okay, no, I'm just kidding. I would just use a different <laughs> word other than balls, but that's fine. Why would men want to approach women when they no longer have to worry about just being rejected, but also have to worry about being accused of harassment? Oh, if I was a man, mm, I would be hard to approach a woman in this day and age. So, so what advice would you give to a man to approach a woman that he likes without being perceived as creepy? Go slow. Be careful. Watch your wording. Because sexual harassment, um, being in HR, sexual harassment is a very big thing. And it doesn't matter how you perceive it, but others. So you really, really have to watch your wording. So I guess you would have to meet that person on their ground level and say, hey, this is what I'm looking for. Who is more likely to care what society thinks, men or women? Women. Who is more likely to follow trends? Women. Why would women care what society thinks if we're living in a world that oppresses them? Because they're judged more heavily. They are oppressed, so they feel like they need to show out and act a certain way or like fit into a crowd so that they can't be judged as heavily. A man isn't going to get judged as heavily as a woman walking down the street. Why do women often talk about how they secretly run the world, but then also complain about how they are so oppressed? Women secretly do run the world because we have control over the men, the right men. But in the system, like when it comes down to the facts, men are in power. So we have to be secret about it. We can never just be out front about it or we'll ruin our power. <laughs> men have it better because the patriarchy was built by men, for men. Okay, there is a system in place that has been going on since the beginning of fucking time, the beginning of humankind. Because men, what, were supposed to be the leaders. But now, they're not taking care of themselves, so they're becoming weak. Which is why women need to step up, and why we're doing what we're doing. A matriarchy is a society run by women. Okay. So if we lived in a matriarchal society run by women, what would the man's role become? The man's role, I feel like, would still be to be a breadwinner because women... I feel like typically are a little bit less um, proactive than men. Men like to go out and uh, get the money, you know, have a job. Women, I, there are women that like to do that, but I feel like a majority of the women want to sit and like get their nails done and like. Why is it wrong for men to objectify women sexually, but it's okay for women to objectify men financially? Mm, that's a good one. So the reason why is because of the fact of, again, it goes back to how you were raised. Um, two, women objectify themselves more than men do nowadays. Right. Well, do you think women have a right to complain about being objectified no. when the entire Vegas economy is built on sex? Nope. Okay. Suck it up, so, buttercup. Okay. I think everybody's first job should be a strip club so they know what sexual harassment really is. If a man wants a really desirable woman, would you agree that chances are he's going to have to steal her away from some other guy? It won't last if you steal them. Yeah, if you steal Personal them. Personal experience. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, is, but isn't every bad bitch talking to some dude? They're talking to more than one. So then wouldn't you have to steal her away from some other guy? We just got to share, to be honest. We all got to share. Hey, honestly, look. She ain't ever yours, dude. It's, your, it's just your turn. I feel like you hate women or something. Like, what are the, what's up with these questions? Well, why would you assume that I hate women just because I'm questioning them? But these questions, you say are something like, why are women yeah, something, yeah, blah, blah, yeah, blah. Yeah, well, why do women think this? Why do women think that? What, what's up with the questions? Is it possible to question women without being labeled a, a woman hater? Is it possible to ask questions without being labeled a sexist? Oh my God. Um, it's the way you ask them, I feel like. Am I not asking? Well, how should I be asking? Why them? didn't you ask them like, like hey, so why do men think this about women? exactly? But like you're why asking it from your point of view. Women, I said women, 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 women. It's never why do men do this? Has catcalling or sending unsolicited dick pics ever attracted a woman? No. So why do so many men continue that toxic behavior when it pretty much never works? I would like to know the same question. Men catcalling us, like I feel like I've literally been here for like five minutes and like already like four people have like come up to me and just like, you know? And you're not even dressed that provocatively not, and stuff, right? Like, what? 
I literally just got off of a plane. Like, what? I had a mask on, and some guy came up to me, and he's like, you're so beautiful. Like, you can't even see me. What? And when, one thing I was curious about that, right? Has catcalling or sending unsolicited dick pics ever attracted a woman? No, never, what? ever. Hate that. What would you like me to ask men? Um, why do men think that they are the shit? Why do why men do think, think that, that they have to uh, take why, money or why, why do men, men think, think that women have to do cooking, cleaning, all that stuff and all they do is go to work? Stuff. Why? Why? What do you think of women in other cultures and how they treat their men? I think that women in other cultures treat their men better than people in America, than women in America do because they allow their men to do whatever they want, and women in America like to keep their man on a tight leash, and they expect them to act a certain way, whereas like in other cultures, they can have multiple wives, multiple, like they don't have to answer to their wife. Hmm. Do you think those women are ignorant slaves, or are they happy, or? No, I think that it's just the way that they were, their culture is. Like, dating is cultural, and I feel like they're happy in their relationships because that's what they know, and like, what they've been, like, come to know. Um, in other cultures other than America, uh, I think Greenland is a really good women's country, but other countries don't respect women as much as Americans do. I think that women should be on top always, no matter what culture. Women should be on top, period. So, so what would be your thought of the women who basically put their men on top? Do you think that they're just ignorant slaves to their men? <sighs> I feel like they just need to be woken up a little. Realize their worth. Women are held to a different standard. It's a double standard always when it comes to women. Okay, so why are women fighting for equality when they only seem to want double standards? They don't even know what they're fighting they for, to be honest. It makes no sense because when a woman hits a man and the cops show up, the man's always going to be wrong. Whether he put his hands on her or not, uh -huh. he's wrong. You know, I feel like men need women. We're the reason they exist. Like, we birth them, you know? We make you reproduce. Like, we continue your name. Okay, let me ask this, right? If the thing that makes women special is being able to make babies, does that mean that women who experience menopause are no longer special? No. So then, I mean, can a woman make a baby without a man's seed? No, but there's other options. But has a child ever been conceived without a man's seed? You're right, but... Oh, they... you're right, but I feel like... <laughs> Sorry, I'm like scatterbrained. If the thing that makes women special is having kids, why do so many women choose to focus on their careers instead of becoming mothers? Hmm, and that's a tough question. Hey, because they like to be treated like sluts. They say fuck them kids and that's how it all is nowadays. What do you think about the mixed messages men face that encourage him to be both strong and tough, but also open and vulnerable? I think it's really difficult and I feel like there is a lot more that we could do as a society to make men feel like they can speak out. I feel like for a long time they felt like they don't have the right to say their feelings because that's a woman's job, you know, like a woman is supposed to be the one that has feelings. Um, and it's great for them to be strong and tough, but I think that men nowadays should look more into like fitting their personality, like showing their true personality. I feel like they cover their personalities almost more than women do in society. So as a female growing up, we look at how are we going to dress, how are we gonna, if we're going to get picked on at school, what do our parents think, so what do our friends think, what do our family members think. Guys don't really have that growing up, so I guess that's why we think more self-consciously about what others think than ourselves. Can you think of any famous female role models who aren't actual models? Um, Obama, or Michelle Obama. <laughs> okay. Do you think that being beautiful is a prerequisite to being influential? I think that it certainly helps. Why is there so much talk in our society about things like male privilege and white privilege, but we don't talk about beauty privilege? I feel like we should more. I feel like pe pretty privilege is a thing. People talk about pretty privilege. Do you think beautiful women are more privileged or disadvantaged by their looks? I think that they're more privileged. Do you yeah. think that a woman's level of physical attractiveness affects her behavior and potential for status? If they allow it, yes. Okay, how so? Well. A uh, woman, depending on how they look, if they feel like they're ugly, they may feel like their their status is very low. They're not going to try hard. They're not going to apply for higher positions because why? You're not going to get looked at. That's what you're thinking. But it shouldn't matter. Is it reasonable to expect people to recognize their privileges and not abuse them? I feel like we should all try to recognize our privileges, but I feel like once you're privileged, you get so blinded by the things that you have that you don't always see how privileged you are. You don't see what other people's other people have and so it can be really difficult to hold yourself accountable and responsible 
we should all strive to do that, but it's not always easy. Why are women so reluctant to admit that they have privilege? Mm. Because we don't see it that way. So when a man holds a door for us, we don't see it as a privilege, we just expect it. Where does blaming society end and personal responsibility begin? Personal responsibility begins with yourself because you should always hold yourself accountable. Yes, society has shaped us to believe and think certain ways, but we shouldn't blame society. As long as you hold yourself accountable, you shouldn't blame society. If a girl is a strict vegan and she swallows, is that cannibalism? She's technically swallowing kids. <laughs> is it vegan? It depends on if you're talking to a Christian or a Catholic. <laughs> Fuck no, swallowing kids. Fuck them kids. I can't have no babies right now. Is it vegan? <laughs> hey, I don't know. It might be vegan. It's nutrients for sure. That's it's animal protein. <laughs> it's animal protein. Vegans don't eat eggs? Okay. <laughs>